Sunday, 1450, 0 seconds here, 2024, first month, January 14th day. Tree fell on fence in backyard. Ice storm. <laughs> the Portland, Oregon ice storm. <laughs> Just keep it like this. So. I'll just pull one thing at a time. First, bring the chainsaw out there. So, not able to hit the screen because they got gloves on, so it's gonna just have to be one screen. So here's the tree right here. fence broke off from tree up there <laughs>
quick because the fingers tips get fucking cold real quick out here. it for now. That's all that needs to be accomplished. All the rest of this shit can be cleaned up anytime during the summer.
that. Get this shit back inside and go heat the fingertips up because they're fucking frozen. <laughs> fucking cold as fuck out here in the air. And these leather gloves get fucking cold as shit real quick. Much quicker than just the regular material stuff. So, I think I'll bring a pair inside the house so that they stay hot. Woo! So, I already got the fire going. Jesus fuck. Whew. Fucking fingertips are fucking cold. <laughs> ah. ah. Wood stove. <laughs> Heat these fucking fingers up and then we'll and then go outside and put the camera on the tree that's on the other side of the fence. Part that had to throw over. <laughs> See how big it is. Then we'll we'll sh show some of the shit that it did on the roof last night. So this all has to, in relation to Forex trading, getting and losing trades, and being all tensed up for hours on, with the screen. <laughs> and then after the losing trade, then I went and played drums, and then, and then did a heavy metal fucking concert, <laughs> added to the tension. And that attracts cold ass, freezing ass weather into the atmosphere. and sees how I am the leading <laughs> lane holder advancing, that's private maritime lane security agreement, and added extra with the uh, peace warrant. <laughs> so consciousness is more, aw more awake. Consciousness is more awake. to the attraction laws. <laughs> Woo. So this is, you know, these are the, the guitar fingertips that got chopped off that need to grow back. They need to grow back. It's just a drawdown. That's all it is. This is just a drawdown. This ain't missing. It isn't lost. It's just a drawdown. <laughs> That you no, know, that's that's the more the perspective learned in the forex market. It's just a drawdown. It's not loss. Just a drawdown because it can always be recovered. <laughs> but if someone, but if one, one wants to think that it's lost, <laughs> to think that it's lost means it can't ever be recovered <laughs> or grow back. <laughs> it's the same thing with the inner child.
That's called hopelessness. And there's the Amor Tigress down there. Yep, Amor Tigress. She's the winter kitty. Winter kitty. <laughs> she said Russian Siberian Tigress. Amor, Amor. <laughs> Snow Leopard! <laughs> <laughs> Whew! God, man. It's not very long for them to be outside in that fucking cold like that for the fingers just to fucking... <sighs> they really fucking get fucking... Because, you know, the circulation, you know, chop finger, fingertips like that, you know, the circulation's fucked. Uh, struggles more. <laughs> uh, then we'll, we'll go up on the roof and show show the stuff that uh, I was on the roof at eleven o'clock at night last night, midnight basically, pounding ice off the roof. Because the roofs, house roofs are only only uh, constructed to hold two inches thick of ice. That's it. Or 20 inches of packed snow. Packed snow is snowfall after snowfall after snowfall where the weight of the snow gets compacted and compacted. 20 inches is the max for a residential house or two inches of ice. So it was at an inch and a half in places on the on the roof last night. So <laughs> I decided to start cracking some of it off before there was another surprise layer added on top. <laughs> Ain't no need having the ceilings fucking fall down. <laughs> so. Alright, so. That's that. Now. Now I'll go outside. Now we can flip the camera because they can have a an extension cord here. So here's the end of the cord there. All right. So there's the big ass fucking branch right there. Like I said, it's about 15 foot long. About eight inch, eight inches diameter. Eight inches, you know, going across the trunk. That fucker dropped somewhere from fucking way up there. Where the fuck I'm <laughs> having the hardest time figuring out where the fuck did that fucker break off because there's no real spot to see that it broke off that's that thick way the fuck up there so it broke off from somewhere up there <laughs> to be that fucking thick <laughs> this one right here I've been wanting to wanting to get this tree down right here anyway because it's on the fence right there so I don't see how that one's going to break off because it's just too short. But anyway, that's that. And then I was up when I was up on the roof last night. Fucking I saw the tree fall down and just bust the hell out of the neighbor's fence over here. 
not really bust the hell the hell out of it, but you know, broke it. <laughs> anyway, there there was fucking tree limbs falling all fucking night last night. It started about about uh, about nine o'clock at night. All of a sudden, you could just hear trees, branches just falling all over the fucking place. <laughs> <laughs> Especially over here, lined up on the other, on the front side of the house, <clears throat> where the apartments are over there. All them trees over there, just fucking snapping like every fucking ten minutes. And this one was snapping quite a bit too. <laughs> it's it's this particular tree, you know that that was snapping. So this, they got the same trees over here. Over on that side, that particular tree, they just fucking snap. Get a bunch of ice, ice on there. Anyway, so last night I went up on the roof, pounded some of that ice off, and also to get some of the shit off the, off the power line. Because you get enough ice on them fucking power lines, they'll probably be... <laughs> Be enough to drop that for disconnect it from the house. <laughs> so So I came out here last night, like I said, at eleven o'clock at night. Broke all the fucking ice off the ground just to open the door there. Oh. And get up here. See, there's another fucking quarter inch of fucking ice right there. So you can see how thick that ice is right there. That's, that's close to, yeah, you could probably say that's an inch. But look at the fucking carport. That's fucking two two inches right there, easy. Two inches of fucking ice right there. And these ha these residential house roofs are only made to hold two inches of fucking ice before the fucking roofs collapse. <laughs> so that's why I went up here last night. I started fucking getting a chipping, chipping path. So if I had to come up here, at least I got a fucking path all the way across the top of the fucking roof, up the side right here, I could get up here. But I got up there, I could knock some of the shit off the power line up there and then Cut a path all the way across the top of the roof. I put some fucking chains on the on the bottoms of these boots. I was a bit in a hurry last night and I fucking broke the snap for the left boot, so. the shovel up here to get up here yeah that's, that's good enough view right there but I'm thinking if I really wanted to you know I could I could get some of this fucking ice off right here just to be safe but the weather report says it's supposed to get back up to 45 degrees around Wednesday. And that, you know, the ice storm seems to have pretty much uh, curved out. <laughs> so, it's, but still, even at that, it'll be, it'll be some time for that stuff to start to melt. But still... <laughs> so but then there's the 
there's always the trust issue. <laughs> the big trust issue. It's kind of, instead of getting all worked up with it and getting all scared and shit and So anyway, so yeah, I pulled the car out last night because fucking <laughs> look, look, all that's holding that, that fucking ice up here is just this, this main cross beam right here and this one right there. And then of course these going across right here, got them all whipped up pretty solid, but uh, like I said, you know, a residential house is only constructed to withstand only two inches thick of fucking ice before all of a sudden it's it's get it's to the cave in collapsing capacity. <laughs> or like I said, twenty inches of packed snow. They have to be packed snow. That's layer after layer that's compacted, compacted to get twenty 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 inches. You know, the more compact it gets, the heavier it gets. So, so yeah, I pulled the car out last night when I got on the roof. It's a good thing I did get on the fucking roof. Otherwise, I didn't really put two and two together till fucking about 11 o'clock at night. Then I realized when I, when I went outside, I finally went outside last night and I went out to the grass. I stepped all over the grass and it was nothing but fucking ice. And that's when it finally sunk in. I says, oh, fuck. <laughs> this shit's on the roof. <laughs> it finally sunk in. <laughs> and then I went up to the roof, and that's when I saw the fucking top of the carport. Because the louvers on the top of the carport are made to collect water. And then, of course, it runs on off into the gutter. But when that shit starts fucking getting cold and freezing, now you got two and three inches thick of fucking ice on top of that fucking carport that's just metal that's all just fucking metal <laughs> same thing with this shit right here right on top here for the front porch in the house right there that's all metal there's nothing fucking holding that metal up right there at all nothing right in the middle well, that shit can easily collapse right there. It'll just bend. <laughs> so, anyway. Look at the fucking ice on top of the fucking car. <laughs> this is fucking iced over. Big time. That's, that's, some, that's some thick ass ice on top of that. All that shit's iced over. That's got to be at least fucking three, three inches because the snow turned into ice. You need the snow to turn right into ice. See that shit right there? <laughs> and like I said, th this is the tree that snapped in the neighbor's yard driveway. <laughs> <laughs> Snap! Yeah, so here, here's all the other trees here. And this one just, this one just bent over right there. Yeah. That's the same trees that are in the backyard there. So they're just all whacked over with ice. So think, think on these apartments over here, you know. No one really gets up on the roof can have anything really going on. All those roofs up there on these apartments or anyone's house get about two inches thick of thick of ice on top of those roofs and they're they're to the collapsing point. <laughs> two inches thick. Anyway, so what I wanna get kinda wanted to get on the bring the ladder out here, just tap on those electric lines right there and knock some of that fucking stuff off of it that ice knock it off 
but then there's always the risk of moving it around it'll s snap the fucking power lines so <laughs> that's always the the dilemma Anyway, so put, put the ladder away. Or, eh, I might want to go up there. Never know. Or I could say, well, I might as well just kind of put a little trust into it. <laughs> but I'm always one for kind of putting shit away anyway. I use it. Are you risking leaving the <sighs> leaving the ladder out there? So I'll go back inside and heat the hands up again. Anyway, so that's that. <laughs> Later.